chronic hypertension management made easy. When it comes to chronic management of hypertension, you're really gonna play with three drug groups. First drug group is gonna be an ACE or an ARB. Second drug group is gonna be calcium channel blockers, such as your dihydropyridine, such as amlodipine and nifedipine. And last drug group is gonna be your diuretics. Specifically, what we prefer is the thiazide drug group. Most patients' blood pressure target is gonna be less than 130 over 90, especially in your patients with diabetes, CKD, CHF, strokes, all of them less than 130 over 90. The only real time you would target a blood pressure less than 140 over 90 is patients who are very low risk, meaning a patient has ASC with a score less than 10, then you would target a blood pressure less than 140. So typically if your blood pressure is between 130 to 139 and a diastolic of 80 to 89, you start a single agent. Whereas if your blood pressure is greater than 140 over 90, most of the time you'll require two agents. And typically you have to just pick from these three drug groups that I've just mentioned. When it comes to the thiazide drug groups, we actually prefer the non-thiazide drugs in the thiazide drug groups, such as indepamide and lortalidone. The reason we prefer both of these drugs is they are actually much more potent antihypertensive agents when compared to hydrochlorothiazide. And in fact, they actually do have a longer half-life as well. Well, if you're asking why does the thiazide have a antihypertensive effect, is it because of its diuretic properties? No, because it is a potassium channel open in your smooth muscle cells and therefore causes hyperpolarization. What happens when you hyperpolarize the smooth muscle in your blood vessel? It vasodilates. Vasodilate leads to hypotension and that's the reason for the antihypertensive effect. So when would you pick hydrochlorothiazide preferentially over these two? Is when the patient has calcium stones or the patient's got too much calcium in their urine or the patient's got osteoporosis because thiazides actually increase the reabsorption of calcium from the urine. So it actually benefits patients with calcium stones in their urine as well as osteoporosis because more calcium in your blood equates to more calcium in your bone.